What's going on people? It's Theo. I'm back with another episode of Shakedown. Now, sorry for being this long, but I am back. I am ready to go. And this episode is going to be a big one. When I say a big one, it's going to be the biggest one I've actually done. Now, um, it's about my vlog in Jamaica. Now, the idea actually came to me very, very late. And the reason for that is because I had my birthday, my recent birthday, um, where I was with my ex-girlfriend and we went to Bista, um, London and Milton Keynes. Now in London, um, I was primarily there because I went to see my team Arsenal play. Um, we played Wolves and that game we drew one all. Um, it would have been nice to got the win, but there you go. The game actually fell on my birthday, on my very birthday, and I thought I couldn't pass up the, the chance to do it um to go so i wanted to go so yeah i didn't vlog the the, the birthday um but i am going to vlog this one so that's what i decided to do i, I vlog um jamaica in its entirety and i wanted to show you guys the the most personal parts of me i wanted to show you the the family history i wanted to show you where i grew up where i went to school etc etc so i hope you will enjoy this episode this will feature my grandparents memorial um the second part of the vlog which will come out um that's going to feature my grandmother's memorial as well as well as i got up to in jamaica so i hope you enjoy this one here we go <music> through to the duty free um, we've already checked in um, what time is it? it's 27 in the morning Just, this is going to be nuts
bring um, got my bottle of water here. I got some noise cancelling headphones. Never actually had this on the, um, the flight before, but noise cancelling headphones. It's a nice touch. So. Hi guys. <laughs> First class. Are you done? <laughs> Getting this to go by. It's a good thing this is going to be edited. Can I be in there? No. Because like you've been conceiving. You wanna be in there? You really wanna be on there? Like AFT. Huh? AFT. AFT? What are you talking Passing about? No. You see the abandon me almost coming to the mic? Yes. Can you, can you like that? Huh? Can you, can you like that? Because I'm nowhere near what I've heard on the... Yeah, but if you just reach out to you, might reach back I doubt it. I doubt it. So, yeah. Oh my God, so. Sitting next to the window, just about to just dock. All good. balcony just over yon there's the beds yeah that's my fault I've been <laughs> but as soon as I got hot here I just wanted to just chill out um, you got the closet here with the safe umbrella got some towels there we've got a wine bar as well there. you got some room brandy vodka gin Got some water, and yes, there is a company that I actually called <laughs> Water. So yeah, we got some water here. We got um, some ice. There's a nice stand dispenser that I saw downstairs, so I'm gonna probably get some. Uh, and we got a fridge here as well with added drinks. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's all good. And here we got the bathroom. Hello. And we got the, got the sink here, double sink. Got the shower, then we got the hairdryer, of course, the toilet. And here's the the bath shower. So, it ain't too shabby still. This is more or less the room. So, it's, it's doable. So, we are on the way to Old Arbor. Um, jumping on the motorway. So, yeah. We're on the move, we're on the move.
made it to the BNB, and um, yeah, I'm just going to show you around real quick what it's look, what it's looking like. Um, it's been mad getting down here. Um, about nearly four hours worth of driving, so we just made it here. So I'm going to show you around and just see um, what we've got. So what you're looking at now is the the living room. Got the sofa there and you've got the kitchen just going to show you so you've got the oven here and you've got the back garden it's not much but it's what's there and you've got the the washing machine. <laughs> this is a very different washing machine that I'm got, that I come across really. Um, yeah, this is very different. And we've got the fridge freezer here. Basically, it's American style. We just put some drinks in there, but we're gonna look to get some food. It's not much. It's what's there, as I say. And this is one of the bedrooms. This one of the bedrooms here. And you've got the um, the built-in wardrobe. And then we come to And then we come to the, the bathroom. It's a bit small, but you know, you got the shower and you got the, the bathroom. It's not much, but that's what's there. And now we come to the final part, which is the uh, another bedroom. Like that's um, another walk-in, like built-in um, wardrobe there. And you got the bed. Notice it's high up. <laughs> the bed's just high up there. Um, yeah, so obviously you got the fan. And basically you can just see the outside part. So in essence, that's what we... Uh, this is what we got. This is what we got. This, like I say, it isn't much, but um, but um, it's what we got until um, for the next four days or so. That's what we're gonna be in there. Oh, we just realised that this place has air conditioning. There you go. Yeah. So this is the B and B. Like so far, so good. It's all right. We've got Wi-Fi. We've got cable. It's good. So, like I said, this is my grandparents' house. Um, this is where I've grown up. Like it's myself, my brother, my cousins. We all grew, we we grew up here. 
and um, obviously this is the reason why I decided to do this uh, this video here because um, it's important that you guys know where I come from why I'm doing why where I've come from you know um, everything that's about me I wanted to like, I wanted to guys just sh show you um, you know how my grandparents did things and how they uh, um, how they managed to teach us um, and more importantly how to um, you know raise a family and have it all together so yeah I'm just gonna take you now and just gonna show you exactly what it is okay so what happens now yeah was we would be walking down this we wouldn't be walking down like we more or less played um, on this driveway here yeah so we was like being Usain Bolt all the time we right we we played cricket here and on the lawn here we would play football we would play football here um, yeah that's what literally what we've done um, so this is the house we really this is the veranda I'm gonna show you guys inside in a minute don't worry but yeah like this is that's the, the veranda and though like you can't like I'm gonna zoom it in here those are believe it or not these are part of my grandparents is is um, yard so they got a few houses here um, so yeah and these are like the trees that like my grandparents would um, would uh, grow their stuff so they grew everything here grapefruit bananas mangoes actually this is a ma this is a this was a mango tree right here this is a mango tree and um, normally where I would be hanging out I would be hanging out here I'm just gonna show you so normally right this is the gate and normally you would find me sitting down on one of these pillars obviously it, it's growing up to be taller than me but the pillars were actually lower you can actually see the marks here from where they've actually built it so um, I used to be sitting on here and I used to kind of you know just think about home and I would think about what's going on and I'll be looking out over the, the mountains so this is where this is where normally you would find me um, over here this is like th those are the, like the tanks this is like the water company, so that, that's the water company's tanks and we used to play cricket over over, over there um, we didn't have a, like a proper place to find it but we played cricket over here so every other few days a truck from the, the water company they had the guy um, coming in and they would check the meters and stuff like that they would do that over there um they do they do this so around about this time a few day a few nights a week so that's how they did did things so over here this is like my grandmother would come here and she would more or less do the washing she like likes to have people talking you know every time there's people gathering we used to sit down here and we used to learn how to wash our clothes by hand and when I say by hand by hand we we learned how to uh, how to do that and we spent every Saturday morning doing that right here so this is the bench as it calls over here is my granddad's car this is a, a Ford laser my granddad loved this car he um, had it um, he had it sent over from Britain and he's been driving this ever since um, my granddad went everywhere in it and this is where he did done his business he would load up and he would take it down to Old Arbor Bay and he used to just um, sell from the, from, from the, uh, the back of this car 
so all good. So if you guys want to know um, what my granddad does, like, like this is um, the cub. This is the farm. My like as I keep saying, my my grandparents were heavily involved in agriculture. So, um, and this is what how my granddad used to do things. So we would have a chicken um, place to just sell to just sell the chickens. The chickens would run here. Um, basically, is that that's gone goat? <laughs> the goats are in there now. You can see. So yeah, like my so yeah, they come in here now. Basically. Got the goats up in here. It's, like this phone camera can't film low level but um yeah, they're in there. And this is more of what my granddad used to do. Right around about here, this is where my granddad would actually um, like sort out the chicken. So they would come here and um, there was a big table just around here. And um, yeah, he would actually like, you know, cut up the chickens, get, get the, the, the feathers off. This is actually pretty gruesome, but my granddad would actually cut the chicken's heads off here. I've never, I've never actually done that, but that's what 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 we done. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So we come to the inside of the house, and I'm gonna take you around to show you exactly, um, you know, how we lived, how my grandparents lived. Okay. So we start on the veranda. Um, I should actually warn you before I go, anyways, that like. Everything that you're about to see, um, like, is totally different to how my grandparents set off. Obviously, my grandparents are no longer here, um, but I'm going to tell you exactly how this kind of thing works. So, yeah, uh, this is the veranda. Uh, my grandmother would hang out here many of times. She would read her Bible. She would look out the window. Um, so you got the chairs just out here and it's got another chair, a few chairs out here. Plastic chairs, mind you, but yeah, my grandmother would like hang out here. Um, and um, yeah, I would be doing the same as well. I, I sometimes come out here to to just look at look about and see what what's going on outside. Even though there's not much going on outside except cars and you got people um, walk, running around or walking up and down. Yeah. Yeah, just for a late thing. Okay. Right, this is the main living room. So, um, we would be watching TV here. Um, so the TV and that used to be here, like the, the, the cabinets used to be here. Um, this is the dining table. We would rarely, very, very rarely <laughs> eat in here. And when I say very rarely, my grandparents would rarely make us eat here. Like, didn't mind like eating, like drinking our uh, drink here, but we would, but my grandparents would never, ever let us eat here every day. It rarely happens. So this is the living room, like we would watch everything now you can imagine us right when we used to live here um we had no cable <laughs> my grandparents had no cable whatsoever um we would watch two tv channels tvj or cvm so we used to actually watch what we could whatever we could and um you know just trying to you know escape the boredom <laughs> As it were, it wasn't easy, but that's what we did here. So we would watch the TV here. Um, the settees would be about here, and there would be tables and all that stuff that would that be here as well. Um, so as I said, most of the stuff has been put into the rooms that I just showed you. So we're going to move into the next room now. Okay, so we come to the bathroom now. 
Um, we went to the bathroom. Yeah, we all shared this bathroom. We all did. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, I used to get beaten up by mosquitoes a lot in this room. Um, but yeah, but this is uh, the bathroom. Nothing really much to be said in it, but we used to share this bathroom. So this is one of the other rooms that that's here. Um, nobody would actually sleep here. I don't know why, but no one actually used to sleep here. Um, but there used to be a, a bed here and they put some other stuff. They mainly just with rooms like used for store, storage. So yeah. So this is my cousin Kira. <laughs> Say hello Kira. Hi. Um the, like the, the, so yeah, like she's here, other, other members of my family are here to honor my grandparents, that's why we are all here. Um but yeah, this is where this is this is one of the bedrooms. So a bed used to be just here and other stuff would just be just down here. Don't mind about the chair, that chair <laughs> well, that chair did see better days. It started as broken as it was as it is now, but yeah. So yeah, this is uh, one of the bedrooms. So now we come to the kitchen. This is where my grandmother would be primarily. Um, so she would actually be cooking um, a lot. <laughs> We used to wash up the plates here often. We do some simple, uh, simple food, uh, simple uh, foods here. And one thing that we always had to do is that we had to wash up. We had to wash up after ourselves. So we um, had to just like anytime we put. We made a drink or something. We always had to clean up after ourselves. Why? Because there's like literally ants that would actually crawl off one here. So that's what we used to do. So I just want to show you. There's a fridge. There's a fridge. I used to I used to get I used to get ice cubes a lot. Yes, I'm coming. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the. I know. Give me a second. So this is what we. Um, this is the the garage. That's my co other cousin Kira, Keisha. So yeah, this is um, the garage. Where, like me and my brother, my cousin, we used to play here all the time. And um, my granddad would actually stack eggs here. Over here is where my granddad would actually store some stuff. There's another bathroom just there as well. So uh, we come back to my grandparents' house. Um, we are well, more or less preparing for um, my grandparents' memorial. Um, so we're just in here, just um, sorting everything out. Um, but we need to get some to eat first. <laughs> uh, I've been up since what five a.m. in this morning, and and it is um, about eight thirty. And look, the sun is out at the moment. It's just like rising really, really, really quickly. Um, not that it doesn't bother me because like I always loved. Um, when I wake up in the morning and it's the sun's just out and it's just hits you, it's just it's just wonderful. It's beautiful. That's one of the things that I love about um, waking up um, to Jamaica and this side. Um, I should actually tell you the whole reason why I'm doing this video. It's not just because um, it's not just because like it's my grandparents' memorial. It's because I actually want to show you guys the real parts of Ch Jamaica. You see, a lot of people would actually go to the tourist areas, Montego Bay, Negril, um, Ultra Rios, um, 
like they go to all these tourist areas right but they don't know what it's what it's truly like so i wanted to give you guys a good insight to kind of understand what is it really like in this country how i've actually grew up in this country um and um yeah i should say actually point out as well that i'm not born i'm not born here um i am born in birmingham as i always say i'm a i'm a, I'm a brummy i'm a british Br brummy but this is my heritage this is how things are done here so my grandparents were born here they were raised here um, so in this video obviously I'm going to show you where they grew up, I'm going to show you where their burial sites um, and, um, and but like but my 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 mum, my uncles, my auntie they was like they they, they was uh, they was raised here as well so we've we've had this family history about doing what we was doing here so I wanted to show you guys exactly um what it's about so i do hope that you enjoy this video so far i hope you're enjoying the content um yeah we're just gonna like see how things go but yeah it's just gonna be um a good family gathering and um you know i'm i'm excited to be a part of it i'm excited to honor my grandparents as i should um but yeah it is a holiday but we're here for one reason and one reason only and um, yeah I just hope that you know I can actually um, make them be uh, proud of what's going on I should also say as well I'm the eldest of 11 grandchildren and uh, my grandparents have one um, great grandchild already <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm proud to kind of lead the next generation of, of my family and um, I hope to I hope to um, you know um, bring my future children here so that they can actually understand what, like what, what, um, what it is and um, and yeah. Um, they'll 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 appreciate it as well. So, so yeah. This is what um, a typical Jamaican taxi looks like. I just thought I'd just show you. Um, gentleman actually lives um, as part of the house, and um, thought I'd just show you this because, like. I could spend many, many, many a time in the taxi when I used to go to school and I would be in there, right? I would be in there with a good 10 to 12 people. 10 to 12 people can actually be in that car, even though that naturally seats about five. Or if you, even if you got a seven seater, right, we'll be in the back. That's how we did it. But that's uh, this is what a typical taxi looks like.
right, so we come to uh, the first part of my, of, uh, my grandparents' memorial. Uh, this is my granddad's um, family home, as you can see behind me. Um, this is where he grew up, um, along with the family. I'm just going to take you through. Um, where he lives is like it's... It doesn't feel like it's secluded or, or anything. It's just like it just feels like a small little town, a small little community um, in this part of the world. And um, as you can see, they got trees and everything as i said my grandparents were, were were farmers and you know it's like kind of a generation kind of thing um in my family so yeah um my granddad brought us here um, a couple times um so we would have family gatherings here and um yeah this is where he uh he grew up so i'm just going to take you through um to show you to show you everything okay what you see now is generally where we would normally hang out if there's a family gathering um, so we just normally congregate out here take a seat eat catch chill Okay, so this is the burial plot. I'm just going to take you in closely. This is my uh, my great granddad. And no, my name didn't derive from him. This is my great grandmother. Um, I should say I've never actually got to meet them. So they're buried together. It's my Uncle Winston. He was a funny, funny dude. He had swagger and everything. Like, this guy was funny. So grateful to know him. And this is my uncle Barrington. And this, this is my granddad. Don't worry, the, uh, the revealing will be out later, but this is my granddad. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my one of my great uncles. Because um, the land was actually divided up into three sections. And um, he's buried here. So yeah. My family his not my family history, my family tree. I couldn't really do because it's that big. My family is that huge. I couldn't even be able to kind of tell you who's related to who. It's like every time I go somewhere my uh my relatives just jump at me and just tell me that oh i'm related and somehow just somehow i have to think okay i have to go along with it but um yeah this is one of my great um uncle great uncle edward i think i met him but yeah um this is more or less um my granddad's family's side of the family. Um, yeah, we've got everything growing here. Every tree. If you head down a little bit further. 
Yeah. So these are part of my family. Um, just consisting of great uncles, great aunts. I told you my family tree is so big. I don't think I've met any of these people, but um, obviously it's a good idea to learn um, about um, my family history. Well, this is where they were born and this is where they lived. Um, I don't know if you can make out the writing, I'm just going to take it in um, as much as I can so that it can try to be read there. Okay. So, um, whilst I'm waiting for the ceremony to start, um, I just wanted to say that you know I'm always been um, a proud member of this family and it's like what I said before it's just about what I'm gonna try to do um, for the rest of my life that really transcends representing this family taking it as far as it can go you know um, as I said if I do have children here I will bring them down here and they will learn everything that there is to know about my side of the family um, but yeah being being here in Jamaica yes it wasn't easy but I've went along with it I did embrace it and um, you know it's changed me a lot as a person it really has um, so I'm just grateful for my grandparents to to teach me this part of the world this part of the culture and learning the heritage and um, it's brought out the, it's brought, it has brought out good in me that hopefully um, for the next generation to lead on um, for the family as far as I'm concerned it's, it's really important so it's, re it's good being here it's sad at the same time but it's good being here so we are going to yeah, we are going to begin. Just want to sing a, a song, sing a prayer chorus, and we pray. Let me see, first of all say thanks to you for coming out to support. These are my in-laws and I guess all of us are here. We are, we are, we are, we are family. We are family. We are family. We are family. We are all family. We are all family. If we are not by blood. Yes, by God. By yeah. God, we are blood, yes. biologically. Yes. And where do I come in? Family, in-laws. Mm -hmm. Thanks for, for coming out to this morning's program. I hope it will be a good time. What time do we have? About half an hour. <laughs> yes. 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 The quality of it, so okay, it's all right. fine. All right. Let us just bow our hearts to the Lord in prayer. Somebody want to volunteer to pray, or I should pray. But I thought you were going to sing the chorus first and then we're praying. Yes. That's yes. What chorus right. do you want? Are we going to sing, bind us together, Lord, bind yes. us together yes. with yes. cards yes. that cannot can be broken? Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. There is only one bond.
one spirit, that's why together we sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us as we look to the Lord in prayer. Well, Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, this is a day that you have made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this day. This is a day that we will never see again. As long as we live and as long as earth remains, we will never see this day again. So God, help us through your son Jesus Christ to make the best use of this day. Help us to use it to glorify your name. Help us to use it to help our brothers and our sisters. We thank you, Lord, that you have enabled us to be here this morning. And as we come this morning, we are grateful to you that our lives has been spared. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done. We thank you for what you are doing, and we thank you for what you are going to do. We ask your blessings on the Blair's family. Lord, we pray that you will continue to lead, you will continue to guide, and you will continue to protect them. Lord, as we go through this morning's program, we pray that whatsoever we say and do will be done to the honor and the glory of your name. And we ask, O oh God, that we will be careful not to take any honor, any glory, any praise, but give them all to you. And so, God, whatsoever we fail of asking you this morning, fail not to grant it unto us. Hear our humble prayers, for we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Bless the Lord. <coughs> We're going to have the scripture. Comes to us from Psalm 91 to 10. 90. Psalm 91 to 10. One, two, one. one. Ninety. I'm saying the right one. Right? Yeah. A prayer of Moses, the night of God. That's the right one? Yeah. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place yeah. in all generations. Before the mountains we, we brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. <coughs> thou turn, turnest man to destruction, and saith, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in, the, in thy sight are bought, as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourishes and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger and, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passing, passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. In the final verse, the days of our years are three scores, years ten, and then if by reasons of strength they be Four, four score years yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Amen. 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 <coughs> Moses, servant of God, write those words. So God has been our dwelling places in all generations. For the mountains were brought forth or ever those from the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, Lord God. 
Now turn this one to destruction, he was talking about the, the, the flood, the deluge. Now, it is important that we serve God. It is important that we serve God. Now, some people live to see a hundred. I saw a lady on TV the other day doing a hundred and change. And mm -hmm. she was young. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the, 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 the important thing at the end of the day is not the ears in your life that comes. It is the life in the ears that you live. Because it's the life that you live that will come. I have some people who are very, very up there age-wise and they are miserable. Very, very miserable. Disgusting, so to speak. Seem they operate as if they don't have any peace of mind, but God granted, promised to give us peace. And Jesus said, uh, My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as this world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. I just want to encourage the Blair children to continue. I guess you have passed your stage of mourning and you have now settled and everything is supposed to be running smooth now. So continue to enjoy life while you are enjoying life. Remember the words of remember, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. And most of us who are here now we are we pass youth. We are done. <laughs> done. Yeah, some of us are t old turbid like myself here. <laughs> the important thing is that we, we must learn to love God and worship God. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Um, I want to sing this. This chorus. This song. Sing the one just love of Jesus. I guess we all know it. If you don't know it, I might have to track it for you. <laughs> uh, Go on then. I, I'm not going to do a solo. I'm not a solo. Have you got solo. the words in front of you? Yeah. Okay. And I, um, it's ah. not a one-man band. Uh, the one, see the man who operate the one band. Mm -hmm. The band never get bigger than the one man. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. So it, it is in there. Sing the one just like this. This one. This one. You can try. No, I'm. I'll right. so start it for you and you follow me. Sing the one just love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that, that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout a victory. Well, what a pilgrim pathway. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread us. But when traveling days, days are over, not a shadow, not a sun. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that we that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. And we'll the prize before us. Onward to the prize before us. Soon his beauty will be home. Soon the pearly gates will open. will open. We shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. When we all get to heaven, I hope we all get there. Amen.
and should be our desire that we all get to heaven. But some people won't make it. Maybe some pastors won't make it. Maybe some church brethren won't make it. But I do and trust that under God, we do exactly yes. what we are supposed to do so that we can make it into the yes. into heaven. We don't, don't want to reach the pearly gate and get into the promised land. We want to, when we reach the pearly gate, we enter the promised land. All right, we're going to have some, a couple of opening tributes. And I want you to make your tributes short. No more than three minutes. <laughs> If, it's, if you go over three minutes, I'm going to turn off the PA system. <laughs> <laughs> turn off the mic on you. Yes. Tributes, opening tributes. Who wants to start it off? Anybody want to start? Come, come, sister Lee. Yes, yes, Sister Lee. Thank you, Sister Lee. Oh, you are an eloquent speaker. Mm. So she looks like me? Yeah. <laughs> my own, I'm my own. That's why she looks like me. <laughs> um, I'm glad to be here today to share in the remembrance of Mars Clovis, as we affectionately call him. Um, I can still recall him at this time of the day. Mm -hmm. He would be coming in yes, from out, out of the bush <laughs> and he would be totally wet. <laughs> and Auntie Sister would be uh, irate. You're not coming in here, so. <laughs> and he has to go to the bathroom and have a bath. But he would be having his very, very cold beer at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really yeah. cold. Mm -hmm. And he would yeah. sit down and he'd. And you know he has a fat lip and he would come like this mm, when he finished drinking yeah. beer and he was really enjoying it. Yeah. So we have good memories, yeah. real good memories. Um, I remember the last when he was, when Auntie Sister went abroad and he was there um, alone. He wouldn't, he, he couldn't recall anybody else except Auntie Sister. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister, yeah, sister. he would say sister. Yes, sister. Mm -hmm. You know, say sister Freda was, and sister mm -hmm. make always a kill the lizard them fair, you know? mm -hmm. and everything it was about sister, mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. There was no other name mm -hmm. on his right. name yeah. besides yeah. sister. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember when Aunt Sister came back, mm -hmm. how he, his memory came back, it's like life came mm -hmm. into right. him. He was so, so in love with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I mean, so them have them quarreling. <laughs> yeah, they had their times, and then you hear them at first and whatever, but don't get in between them. Okay. Don't get in between them because they were like one. And you know, I really appreciate Mas Clovis for who he is a family man. Look after his family, be there with his wife through thick and thin. I knew she, she wasn't always well, but he was there. He was there. You know, some persons they are with you when things are going nice, mm -hmm. but as they're going get tough, mm -hmm. it's the last of them you see. Mm -hmm. But Mas Clovis took it out, stick it out for years, mm -hmm. irrespective of what. And they made a very fine couple. You know, I really appreciate him for that, and I hope the gentleman in his, in his successor those who come after him and other male family members will just take a, a leaf out of his book to see the type of man he was. A family man. One who looked after his family. One who will stick it out to the end. And we really do appreciate the training guy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Miss mm -hmm. Blair probably was doing something very, very good to <laughs> Mr. Blair, why <laughs> Her name was always on his lips. <laughs> Maybe it's a beauty queen she was. You know? <laughs> Something. I don't know why she. I don't know what she was doing. To him. <laughs> good Very pretty. She, she was doing something <laughs> good to him. Yeah, Whatever so. she was doing, it was good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Get the, well, they, they love each other. That's how it yeah, should be. Right. All right. Um, well, um, although this is supposed to be a sort of moment, I just remember. 
Uncle Clovis, not just for the beer. <laughs> he had a very infectious laugh. Yeah. No matter what is happening, mm. Uncle Clovis is always there smiling and laughing. Mm. Right? And even though I was not down there as much, you know, any little thing, Uncle Clovis is always there. Mm. For me, as his nephew, I remember when I was I completed my masters and Uncle Clovis came mm -hmm. to the graduation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mother. Mm -hmm. But you know we always have a good relationship. When I can, I go over there. Mm -hmm. We visit him. He always have mm -hmm. something to give us. Mm -hmm. yes. Some food, bread, food, cake, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, okay. right? Yeah. He's always, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember when I was a little boy and the family, we usually go out on the excursions and mm -hmm. so forth. It was always fun growing. It's always fun growing up with Uncle Clovis. Yes. So. Yeah. Always saying something funny and giving jokes. Right. But you know, we really miss him. And it's always the fun memories to 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 think about him. And you know, we're just happy that we had this life that he was part of our life. Take one more. If I'm over this, somebody from this side of it. If I'm over this. Come on, say, Uncle, you're the last one. Come on, speak up. Yeah, exactly, you're the last one. Yeah, speak up. Right, I must say that my dad was a gentleman who brought me to Jamaica as a little boy. And I appreciate that because I learned a lot. And you should say, every Saturday morning, we used to wake up early to go all over beer. We sell him in bits and pieces. And I remember one day, he said to me, move the car into the garage, the red car, not the blue car, the red car. The tall box. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, the tall, oh, God. And he said, put it, in, put it in the garage. <laughs> so put it in the garage. And as I turn it into the garage, we wrap the car around the post. <laughs> my mommy said, why are you giving the car for? Why are you trying to do And my dad said, shut your mouth, you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so much to argue, yeah. but it was a good argument. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's uh, you're gonna learn, and these are the things that you have to learn in life. You have you have your mistakes. You have to make mistakes. Uh, but you learn from them. And uh, I swear to God, I learn from every mistake I've been in life, and think what how my daddy teach me, my mother show me, and I appreciate that. Because if I didn't come to Jamaica, I wouldn't know nothing. So I want to say thanks everybody for turning up and to my parents for being the parents they are. So you. Yeah. You love your father, don't you? Love them the much. Even in life? In life. And every, every day. And even in death? Every day. All right, good. Nice one. Thank you. Nice, nice. 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 All right, we'll do one more, um, one more song. And we have the... Open. We, no, we do open tribute. We're going to have a poem after the song. We're going to have a poem. After the poem, we're going to have the... Arbitrary. So, the song, then the poem. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by. Okay, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. <coughs> Somebody want to start it or I should no, start? No, you should start because you've got the words. <laughs> Praise the Lord, we know take the poem. poem. Yes, uh, good afternoon everyone. It's wonderful that we are together again. We give the Lord praise. Praise God. I want to read a poem, but before I read this poem, I just want to say a few brief words. Yes, I just want to say a few brief words about Brother Clovis, my cousin. Very loving, very kind, always thoughtful of others. Two remarkable incidents that I remember. And it was in 1992. I was, we were living, my mother and I lived in Iris House out there. And I was getting ready one morning. I came to visit her, I was getting ready one morning. I was in the bathroom getting ready. And I saw a brother Clovis car drove up. And I said, what, what is he doing about this time of the morning? And he heard me. And he said, is you, I come to see you now. I said, no, I want, I want to see you now. 
So I say I'm in the bathroom. Say I'm coming in there. <laughs> and he came in, and he said, "Listen, before you go back to America, try and put up a few blocks down at that place where you are there." And he said, "Lord, we can manage that." He said, "Yes, try and start. You've got to start somewhere." Mm -hmm. You hear? He was that type of person, mm -hmm. very encouraging. Yeah, and I really appreciate it. Another incident as well. We have three coconut trees in the yard down there. And he came and planted those coconut trees before we even moved there. Mm -hmm. He said, well, no, we want jelly to drink. Mm -hmm. And he planted those. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fence that divides me and the lady on the other side, he came and planted that fence. Mm -hmm. I remember him. He's always very much interested in people. Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. want to help, kind. Mm -hmm. and and he come to the airport and pick me up. Mm -hmm. The time I've come to Jamaica, mm -hmm. he come and pick me up in that car. Mm -hmm. So I am forever grateful. I remember me. He's always in my thought. Mm -hmm. Yes, a mm -hmm. wonderful person. Mm -hmm. And I miss him. Mm -hmm. yes. I will read this poem. It is a prior poem. This is a very old book. In, 19, in 2016, a neighbor of mine in America asked me to accompany her to the doctor. It was out of the neighborhood. And while we were traveling to the doctor, I saw these books and they out on the street. Mm -hmm. And I said to a gentleman, oh, who was selling those books? And she said, go into the store, ma'am. And I went in there. And the lady, I said to her, what, how much is this book? And she said, well, I think it's three or four American dollars. It's a prior poem. It's a very old book. Mm -hmm. And all the poems that are in this book is based on prior. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read this one today. The author is unknown of this poem. And it's, it's, it's the title of it, entitled, Father, We Thank Thee. And it reads thus. For flowers that bloom about our feet, Father, we thank thee. For tender grass so fresh and sweet, Father, we thank thee. For song of bird and hum of bee, For all things fair we hear or see, Father, in heaven, we thank thee. For blue of stream and blue of sky, Father, we thank thee. For pleasant shade of branches high, Father, we thank thee. For fragrant air and cooling breeze, for beauty of the blooming trees, Father, in heaven, we thank thee. For this new morning with its light, Father, we thank thee. For rest and shelter of the night, Father, we thank thee. For health and food, for love and friends, for everything thy goodness sends, Father, in heaven, we thank thee. Author unknown, a prior poem, Father, we thank thee. Thank you. Okay. That's a nice boy. Wonderful boy. Um, Ma Mas Clovis was a kind person as most of you have said because during the course of time when I know Mas Clovis I've, I've never gone there yet and, and don't leave if I find with three eggs. <laughs> yeah man, if I with three eggs. Very generous. Yes. At least three eggs and give you three eggs. If I have a half dozen lime. You get so, you get your half dozen. You never I've never mm -hmm. gone there yet and mm -hmm. leave out empty handed. Come away empty handed. I always get something. If I don't get three eggs, I get lime. If I don't get lime, I get a piece of pumpkin. I yeah. always get something. Yes. But yes. you know, um, always. He he must have been a very loving father to his children. But the reason for saying that, you know, you have some parents died and the children do not to go to the funeral. You know that? Mm -hmm. I've no, I've no instance where parents die, children don't go to the funeral. But here we find that Mr. Blair died and after a couple of years, the children come back to pay respect. That means he had done something good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm for them, why they would have come back to even to put on the a, a headstone, well, 
can't say much about the headstone because my father dropped out for mm. seven years now and mm. don't put on the headstone yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cheap, so I can yeah. tell you yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I hope one day before I drop out, I might be able to put on a headstone. Yes. Although I don't know when, but... Overdue. Overdue, but... Tell the Lord, I'm not ready for none of them yet. I'm not ready for the time, I'm not ready for heaven yet. No, no, yeah. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> so I'm going to beg him for it. Hold it back. The time come, you can't yeah. say you're not All right. ready. Mm -hmm. Alright? That's right. right. No, man, you can't go before your time, man. Alright, we are going to have, at this time, we are going to have the, the unveiling of the... The headstone. The sun is getting pretty warm, so quickly we have to get out of here. So let us gather around. So I'm going to do. Who is going to do the the so unveiling? The, the grandchildren can do it. Okay, okay, grands. Um, come, come, son. Come, come on, come on, come, 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 come twenty. Twin is gone. Go on, do your little job. Go on. No, 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 no. Where's for you? Go no, on. You, no, you come on here. Hold this. All right, I'm still here. 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 i my father out here. Hold it here. Just let you get our. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. 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 In loving memory of Clovis Augustus Blair. Sunrise, 4th of August 1931. Sunset, 19th of March 2016. Loving husband, father, and grandfather. The, the life given to us by nature is short, but the memory of our well spent life is eternal. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together, man. So we come to the end of the first part of the ceremony, um, honouring my granddad. Um, it was just a good turnout, um, very poignant ceremony. Um, just made me wish he was just here. Um, so now we're on our way to my grandmother down the road. You only live down the road, it's only a good um, five minute drive. But yeah, um, so far it's been um, a great ceremony so far. So. We go to the second part.